We are answering all of your summer food and grilling related questions with Al Romano from GTCC. This person is asking how often should you clean your grill and with what? All right, so you want to clean it as much as you can. It, you, definitely after every use and even before every use. And so if you clean it every single time when, you, when you're done cooking, what happens is um, and then I, I turn mine on after and let it burn out. So you want it so it's really super clean, so it's super sanitized. Nothing's going to live through, you know, 500 degree heat. So as much as possible, the cleaner the better. All right, and clean it with what? Because a lot of people like to use those metal bristles, but we've done lots of stories no. about those metal bristles. No, I can tell you personal stories. No, that you don't want to use that. Um, you, you, I, I, you could order something like this. I ordered it on Amazon. It's, uh, it's just like a grill, has no bristles in it. It's brushless uh, scraper. Uh, but even if you don't want to do that, an onion will work. Take an onion and scrape an onion right down. A potato works too. So a lot of, a lot of that. Just and so you have to have the grill hot stuff. when you do that, correct? With the onion or the potato? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Correct. All right, this person's asking a very interesting question. Could washing your hands affect the food badly? No, it'll make it better. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely you know, want to wash your hands. I mean, obviously, when you wash your hands, you get the soap off of it. If that there's soap on it or something or sanitizer on it. Um, and you're touching everything, but you shouldn't have that much on your hands to affect the food, especially it's being cooked. Okay. This person's asking, you is want it to wash your hands always for sure. Is it okay to cook mm -hmm. everything together? Like all different kinds of meats together on one grill? Um, okay. So depending if, if someone's celiac or something like that, or is, has an allergic reaction, no, it's not. If, if you do, um, put everything together, uh, then you would do something separate. But the biggest mistake people make is they'll touch, uh, they'll, they'll take their tongs and take the raw, say raw chicken, put it on the grill. Then once it's cooked, take it off, take, take it off with the same tongs. So it was raw on, on this tongs. So you want to use separate tongs, separate tongs for separate or spatulas for separate meats. So you want to keep them separate, but it's, is it okay? Sure. But long as they don't touch each other. Don't touch each other. Okay. Um, this person's asking, is it safe to cook all those things together and then put them in freezer bags for meals for later days? Yeah, if you put in separate freezer bags. But another thing is too, make sure they cool down to room temperature first. So you got that, I, I, you got that like a two hour window. So you want to get it down to say room temperature from when you cooked it, then you freeze it and put it, put it back in the refrigerator and, and then freeze it below 70 degrees. And, it should be no problem, definitely. Sure. Okay. That's what I'm going to do with all this. I can't eat all this tonight. <laughs> I, I made all this stuff. So. That's right. And you're going to put it that. in the refrigerator for leftovers later. Got it. Okay. Yep. This person's sure asking, should you cook hamburgers frozen or thaw them out first? Depending on the size of hamburgers. So a lot of places will cook them from the frozen state. And it, it's nothing wrong with that. Um, it depends. It might even... so. So how, how you buy it, read the directions on the box on a frozen burger. I'll tell you not even some, some of them will tell you do not thaw cooked from frozen state. So you, 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 I know you, you do that. So it's, it's a matter of choice. It's a matter of choice. Could you want, I wouldn't recommend like a big, an eight ounce, 10 ounce burger from a frozen state because the middle will never get done and the outside will get burnt. Gotcha. But okay. that's a uh, four ounce patty. Sure. Someone's asking, how long is it safe to stock up on meat in a large freezer for a big occasion, like weeks or months? You could go up to a couple of months. I mean, I wouldn't go more than that. I mean, once you start going more than that, you, you have a chance of your meat getting freezer burnt. And it, not that it's going to get you, it's, it's going to be, it's just not the quality. Not the, the longer it's in the freezer, the quality goes down. So a couple right. of weeks is probably ideal. Okay, this person's asking about grilling sheets for burgers or grilling skillets in an effort to keep flare-ups down. Yes, those, uh, those really work pretty good. Uh, they're sheets or I'm thinking like they're little metal things you can put your vegetables in, put them by on the grill. So yeah, definitely, sure, why not? Someone's asking, you can like you it. put whole eggs on the grill? Whole egg? Yeah. If you want it to explode, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I wouldn't do that. I, I, I've never tried it, but I don't know. It's like putting an egg in a microwave, I guess. But it's, it's going to get hot and probably explode. Gotcha. Uh, but you could cut if you got a griddle or something to put on the grill and cook 
and crack the egg and put it on there. Yeah. Sure. Needs, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for your time, your expertise. And now you're about to have dinner on your backyard. Like it. Yep. Well, it's going to rain. <laughs> it's starting to get cloudy here again. <laughs> if you missed any of this at home, you can catch it. It's going to be in the two wants to know section.